On Tuesday, protesters and police clashed in a brutal street battle in Hong Kong. The day marked the 70th anniversary of the PRC's founding, and while a military parade marched through Tiananmen Square, an HKPD officer fired a live round into a protester's chest. The local English news broadcaster, RTHK, said that it was withdrawing all reporters from embedded positions within the protest after a projectile struck one reporter in the eye and another had a loaded shotgun pointed at them. Also on Tuesday, the State Department confirmed that North Korea and the United States plan to meet within the following weeks, hoping to continue denuclearization talks. The talks originally broke down in February when both parties were unable to come to a mutually beneficial agreement. The talks are slated to begin sometime this weekend. Recently, Johnson & Johnson reached a $20.4 million settlement with two counties in Ohio. By the agreed terms, Cuyahoga and Summit counties will receive $10 million in cash, $5 million as reimbursement for legal fees, and $5.4 million for opioid-related nonprofits. This settlement includes no admission of guilt, however it does remove Johnson & Johnson from their part in the federal trial against opioid pharmaceutical companies later this month.